hello guys welcome once again in the last video we have seen how to make a login page in your visual c++ windows form application with mysql database so we have seen that if you enter your username and password and click this login button it shows whether your password and username is correct or not now we will see how to open a new form when you logged in so for example when you click this login page button this page form must disappear and it must open a new form in which you can show some other data so if your user has provided correct username and password it will open a new form for you so let's see how we can do it so go to your project and go to your solution explorer and in here click on your project and right click it and go to add new item and it will create or display you a list of new items so these are the new items which you can make so we are interested in making a new windows form so just click this and give the name of this form so i will name it as form 2 and i will click add and it will create a new form for me yes so it has created a new form for me and here also a new form is created for me now just go to your first form and go to its source code of first form and go at the top And in here you have to include your second form in your first form so just sorry so in your first form here you must write this include std afx dot h and once again you have to write include double quotes double quotes and in this double quote write form 2 dot h okay so this form 2.h we have included in our form 1.h so it can be accessed and let's check our program if we are correct till now yes we are okay till now and now go to your first form in which we have made our login button and click double click it and in the last video we have seen that if uh, my password is correct it will show me a message that username and password is correct so this time i want to open my pass uh, my second form when my password and username is correct so go to this if count is equal to one statement which i have shown you in the last video and press enter and in here write this this 
and provide a arrow pointer and write hide so what it will do is it will hide this form and in the next line write here write form 2 this name so name of the form my form 2 and provide this cap symbol and then write a variable for your form 2 so I will write f2 for form 2 variable is equal to gc new and just copy this form to once again and paste it here and just close the bracket so write this line and now we have this variable so copy this and paste it here and write arrow and then write show dialog and bracket close so what it will do is it will hide this form from this code and it will open a new form filled with this code okay so when your username and password is correct it will open your new form and hide your previous form but one thing you need to know that when it goes to the next form and when you close okay I will tell you when the problem comes so right now we will just run this program so run it and press yes and my form is running I will provide a correct username and password and I will press login and it says username and password is correct and when I press ok my old form is gone and my new form is appeared so in this way you can open your new form with the code and when you click this close you will observe that your program is still in debug mode and it's not returned to its original pro condition so just go to debug and press stop debugging and it will come to the original position so to avoid this condition to you can go to this form 2.h and take a button here and name this button as and go to the properties and in the text you can name it, the button as exit this is for exit and just double click it and in here you can write application and then these colons and write exit and bracket and bracket close so this when you press the exit button this code is executed and you will exit gracefully from the program so once again we will run our program build it and run it and I will provide the username and password login my username and password is correct so it will open the second form and it will hide this form ok and when you click this exit button you see it will no more hang in the debug mode it will come to your or it will exit from 
the deep again in run mode. So in this way you can gracefully exit from your program. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.